Hey guys, today I'm bringing you along three days of deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of real life messes, a lot of satisfying transformations, and hopefully giving you some organizing ideas for your bathroom. So hopefully you're ready to do this with me. Hey friends, thanks for joining me for today's video. I'm Jamie, if you are brand new here, and I am grateful that you are here. Thank you for taking time out of your busy life to hang with me. I am just so thankful to have you here, thankful to have you spending your time with me, and hopefully you leave this video feeling motivated, maybe just getting, maybe you're just ready to get one thing done. Actually, on one of these days that I'm going to share with you, I had planned on doing so much more, but I was only able to get my bedroom vacuumed and my bed made just because the twins weren't cooperating, they weren't taking a nap, and that's okay. Sometimes it's okay to just get one thing done. So hopefully I can encourage you guys to do just one thing. That's all you need to do. If you can't clean up the whole room, just clean a corner of it. If you can't do all of the dishes, just do one dish. Always look for the one thing you can do with the energy and the focus that you have. Remember, little wins pave the way for bigger wins. I read that somewhere and oh, it has stuck with me and hopefully it really resonates with you guys as well. All right, so tonight I'm cleaning up the living room and the kitchen, just like basic pickup, living room, kitchen, put dishes away, wipe things down. And then on day two, I'm gonna be basically deep cleaning my entire bathroom. I mean like really, really deep cleaning. So I'll be sharing all of that with you guys, all of my favorite cleaning products and tools that I use to clean my bathroom. There's actually a new cleaning tool um, that I've never used before. I've used it in another place in my home, but never used it to clean my window tracking upstairs and it was game changing. So I will be sharing that with you as well as reorganizing under my bathroom sink and all in all of the drawers. Most of it is budget friendly organization, Dollar Tree or really low budget in Walmart or Target. And I'm a little embarrassed by how gross some of these organizers had gotten over the past year. There's like so much hair and dirt and a bunch of stuff but you know what it's real life i'm sharing it with you we are going to be really cleaning it all up organizing and yeah i'm really excited to share all of this with you and hopefully it can give you guys some budget friendly and also some really cool organizers from amazon if you need to organize your bathroom I am using the scrub mommy sponge to scrub down my sink and I love the scrub mommy sponge. There's a scrub daddy. I prefer the scrub mommy. I think I got it from Target. You can get it from Walmart, I believe, but 
I love this scrub mommy like it's my favorite sponge and I use it all over my house and when I wash it I either put it in the dishwasher or even sometimes we'll throw it in the washing machine with my towels and then just let it air dry. wipe down the high chairs i was using the jaws kitchen cleaner it's a degreaser and just because there was like a lot of jelly and like really you know if there's foods that really seem to like seep into the white high chair trays this is when i go in for the kitchen jaws kitchen degreaser because it always gets all of the sticky toddler messes up and then i was going to wipe down my countertops with the jaws multi-purpose spray i technically or i typically go back and forth between using the multi-purpose spray on my countertops or the granite cleaner which by the way i know it says granite cleaner but my parents and my sister-in-law both have quartz countertops and they use it on there as well and it does a phenomenal really job to get it right trying to find some balance in my life All right, so on this day, I was mentally preparing myself for a big, big clean. I had honestly not cleaned my shower in a long time, and you're going to see evidence of that. I hate cleaning my shower, so it's been a while. Um, I had not cleaned the windows, blinds in a long time, faucets, like I'm getting down and dirty in today's video because I've not done it in a long time. I'm also going to be cleaning the walls and all of that. Um, but, but I was going to wipe down the blinds with the Jaws multi-purpose spray and then clean the window with the Jaws glass cleaner. As I'm watching this video back, it made me, I, I saw some of the hair products I had on the countertop and I want to start sharing like more of my, my favorites, things that I come across and I'm like, wow, this is really like it helped me out or it makes me sleep better, makes my hair look better, you know, all that type of stuff that I just, I feel like I always forget to share, but I have these new, uh, hair products, um, that I actually was influenced by other influencers and I started trying it and it's made a huge difference in my hair, but it's actually Olaplex. Um, it's made a huge difference in my hair, but let's give it some more time before I really speak on it. Um, my hair has changed dramatically since I've had the twins. My hairdresser who has cut my hair since I was 15 made a comment recently. She's like, man, your hair has really changed since you had the twins. So I've kind of been overhauling my hair trying so many different products and i think i'm like getting a good system down so maybe in a couple of weeks when i really try out all the products that i've been using give them some time to work i'll share it with you guys but i also have some other cool products that i've been using like from amazon and stuff that i'm going to start sharing so hopefully that sounds exciting um, because i always like hearing that type of stuff but to clean the window tracking, I first went in with my Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer and that blasted and loosened up all of the dirt and the grit in the tracking. And then I went in, this is the game changing tool, with a car detailing brush. Those little brushes got into every single crack and crevices. Crevice, it's amazing. You need one of these. You could use it in your car to detail your car, clean your car, but also to get and clean your window tracking. I'll have it linked below.
Make sure you stick around because after we organize, there is so much deep cleaning, very satisfying results, so stick around. I do wanna thank Jaws for sponsoring this video. To be sponsored by a cleaning company that I've been using their products for well over two years. I mean, go back to any video over the past two years, every single video you're gonna see Jaws cleaning products. I am just so grateful to have them sponsoring today's video. Um, but I did get this new cleaning caddy from Target. Shout out to the viewer who sent it to me on Instagram. I will have this link below, but it st stores all of my Jaws cleaning products and refill pods, which I love. It's just like a nice little cleaning caddy. But if you're not familiar with Jaws, it stands for Just Add Water Systems. And a little fun fact, they are a local company to me. Their headquarters is in my hometown. So that's really, really cool for me. Um, but I think Jaws are Jaws products are really cool because you reuse the bottles. So you're seeing me pop in a new pod, reusing the bottles, and I've never had to buy new bottles, and I've had them for over two years. So you just buy the refill pods, and when you need to when you need a new cleaner, you just fill the water up to the water line on the bottle. It's so easy. There's a water line, you pop in the pod, and then you start spraying. And why I love these products so much is because they are streak-free, versatile, and eco-friendly, and their mission is to eliminate single-use plastic bottles. All of the products are non-toxic with the exception of the disinfectant. Disinfectant is not non-toxic. And why I personally love them is because they're great products, great cleaning products. Very, very, very affordable, especially when you use my 24. 5% off coupon code that I'll share with you. And they're just so easy to store because you just have to store the extra little pods and they have a very light scent. It's not overpowering, but it's a light refreshing scent. Each cleaner has its own scent. So it's just nice because it adds a little refreshing scent into the air where it makes your house smell good but it's definitely not overpowering i will have a coupon code and a link in my description where you can check all of their products out also in my pinned comment and like i said they're very very affordable i have a 25 percent off coupon code so for example if you get their ultimate cleaning kit um, you get six bottles two refill pods per bottle seven color-coded microfiber cleaning cloths, and then free shipping. And all of that comes to $37.49 when you use my coupon code. So I think that's a great price for all that you get. Or you can just buy individual cleaners, you know, whatever it is you need, you can just buy whatever you want and you can still use my coupon code. My personal favorites are their foaming bathroom cleaner, which you're going to see me use a lot today, the multi-purpose spray, the kitchen cleaner, and the granite cleaner. And I will mention that the foaming cleaner and the multi-purpose spray is not included in the ultimate cleaning kit, but you could add that on if you want. But to me, those are my must-haves. But again, if you ever have any questions about Jaws, Jaws cleaning products, any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. You can ask me questions here in um, on this video. I'm always happy to answer any questions you have about their products. And again, the coupon code and the link is in the description to find the description it's a little bit confusing now there's like a little drop down arrow on the right you got to hit that and then you got to hit read more but i promise you it's there or you can message me on instagram Okay, so let's talk organizing. These white organizers that I have in my drawers, those are from Target and they are so affordable. Like they're like between one and two dollars, I think, somewhere along those lines, like one or two dollars. And they have varying sizes. They have like small, medium, large, and you can use them to kind of do play Tetris a little bit with your drawers. And I just like how they're affordable and you can just get variations to fit pretty much any size of your drawers and then the drawer expanders that i had with my hair dryer and curling iron curling wands and all of that so those i will also have linked in the description but those are just nice because they just can divide pretty much any drawer that you have 
and I don't know I went with the cheap like white ones because it was my bathroom and I didn't really care I think I got them from Amazon but they're just nice because if you have a drawer like I have and you know you have bigger items that can't necessarily necessarily be put in like one of these white containers or a drawer organizer get the drawer dividers and it forces you to keep your drawer more organized because it's blocked off so i have you know my hair dryer and then my curling ones and then my curling waver you know all of that girl stuff and it just does a good job of keeping everything neat and organized and divided So when I organized our bathroom last year, this was like the quote unquote high end under the sink organization. So this little um, spinny Lazy Susan divider, I got that from Amazon. I'll try to have everything linked in the description, but I liked this specifically because I put all like my face stuff in here and I like how there were dividers, but then the, the dividers actually come out. So like if I'm washing my face, I can grab the divider with like my face washing products and things like that. So just makes my whole nighttime beauty routine a little bit easier. So I got that from Amazon. And then I bought the basket to store all of my feminine products because, you know, our toilet's in its own little room. And when it's that time of the month, it is nice to be able to just take the basket in there and just have all of the stuff that I need. Um, and then the clear organizers that I store like some medicines and like a few extra like random like saline sprays and things like that. I'll also have these linked below. And we do have child locks on our bathroom cabinets. So in case you're curious, we have those child locks on there. All right, so moving on to under Mike's sink, which was more of a mess, which partially that is because he's just not as tidy as I am. He's not dirty, but he is not as tidy as I am. But also Avery was in here the other day because one of the twins had like a cut and she ran upstairs to get, like she wanted to get it all. She wanted to get a wrap. Like it was just like the tiniest cut, like not even bleeding, but you know how kids are when they just have like a tiny speck of blood, then they want a band-aid. So Avery came up to get a band-aid and then she also got like a wrap and we were just like cracking up at her and she even wrapped Emery's foot because of Emery's boo-boo but anyways um that's also why it was a mess and I'm sorry for the 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 shaving shaving clippings am I saying that right I'm sorry for those up close kind of gross shots but you know what like I said this is real life I'm showing it to you guys exclamation mark and this was everything that I was able to get rid of <laughs> Actually, when I had organized this a year ago, I got so many comments. Why did you give your husband the pink organizers and why did you, you know, keep the more neutral clear organizers? And it just made me laugh because I had more things that I needed like the nicer organizers for. And Mike honestly could care less what color organizers he has. Like I don't even think he, he noticed that I had organized the space, but he didn't even care at all. I don't know, like it's in the bathroom, it's under the sink. He's just one of those guys like stuff like that is just, I don't know, like it doesn't even phase him. Like he does not care about having pink organizers under his uh, bathroom sink.
So here I'm just using my Rubbermaid power scrubber to get under the sink. For some reason, specifically my sink, my sink is always dirtier than Mike's for some reason, like the, um, the drain and like under the faucet. I don't know what it is, but mine is always dirtier than his. But I was using the power scrubber to get there under um, the faucet and then around the base of the actual sink and all of that and then also use it to scrub the what do you call it the little drain thingy and it actually wasn't as bad as it usually gets but mine easily pops out so I figured I would clean it his does not come out easily um, the drains are actually supposed to be connected to this like the sink under the sink I don't know how to explain that but there's like a little hook for some reason mine's kind of broke the sink still works but that little stopper comes out really easily on Mike's side you have to pretty much take apart the the, the pipes in the sink um, to pull it out so I was just doing mine but there's so much gunk that gets up down there into the drain that this little power scrubber just does such a good job of pulling all of that up So how are you guys doing? How is life going for you? Are you hanging in there? How you feeling? You feeling good? Overwhelmed? We're nearing the end of win end of winter, which is great, but as you're or as I'm editing this video and doing the voiceovers, we are preparing for a lot of snow. I think they're saying as of right now close to 2 feet of snow. So to me, spring seems like so far away. And it's actually kind of interesting because I live in Northwest Ohio and I've re well, I've always lived in Northwest Ohio. Um, we lived in central Ohio in Columbus for about a year after college. Um, but I feel like summer has been lasting a little bit longer. So now I feel like the hot, humid summer temps pretty much last through September and it almost doesn't get warm here or like what I would consider warm until about mid to late May. Like we're not wearing shorts until probably closer to late May. So that just seems so far away, so far away. So anyways, I am looking forward to the warmer weathers. At this point, I start getting over winter and then I just feel like our spring drags on, but how are you guys doing? Not just about weather wise, just curious how you guys are doing. Let me know. Um, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. But yeah, let me know how you're doing. DJ got me twisted, liquid got me distant. Don't you know? Well, you should know. So I didn't know if you guys knew, but you can pop off your toilet seats and then you want to get under like those little clips because it can get kind of gross under there. Mine wasn't that bad and I knew it wasn't, but um, while I had my steamer out, I was kind of doing a lot of different things because I was like, oh, my steamer's out, it's heated up. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys, number one, what the steamer can do, just something else that it can do. But also reminder, take off your toilet seats and clean under there. Another reason why I love this Bissell steam shot is because I don't know if you can tell, but that is yellow under the toilet and it's blasting pee out from under the toilet, which is crazy to me because every time I do this, it happens. And 
Mike is a, he's very careful. He's the only boy in the house and he is, I will say, not messy at all when it comes to going to the bathroom. Sorry if that's TMI, but if you have boys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's just amazing that there still seems to be pee under the base of the toilet. And I know you guys are going to be like, but Jamie, you should have it sealed. Um, I've talked about this before because apparently it's like kind of divided. Some people, some um, plumbers will say you should get it, your toilet sealed. And then other plumbers say it's not good at all because if there was a leak, you wouldn't know. And I am telling you, look it up. You will see some plumbers you're like either one way or the other and our plumber says absolutely not they do not seal under the toilet so just wanted to throw that out there because I know I'll get questions about it but what I had um what I was doing was I had sprayed down the shower with the jaw jaws foaming bathroom cleaner I always let it sit for a while and sorry for my gross shower and then I went and cleaned the toilet and then I came back and was scrubbing in the shower Like I said, I don't always use all of these cleaning tools when I'm cleaning my bathroom, but since I was focusing on the bathroom, I was just kind of going all out. But also, like I said, I had the steamer out, had it all fired up and heated up. So I was like, all right, let's use it. I actually, I didn't show this, but you guys had the recommendation of using the Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer to clean my humidifiers and it was amazing. So Thank you to whoever suggested that. Um, you can actually see it on the counter, but I just like why I had it out. I was like, I need the steam, steam shot, everything. So that's what I was doing. So the other thing I was doing was cleaning the walls and I was using my wall cleaning tool, which I will have linked in the description. I have a lot I need to link. So if I forget something, just let me know or you can message me on Instagram and I'll send you the link. Um, but this is a wall cleaning tool that I like using to clean my walls and to actually spray in my walls. I'm using the Zep, Z-E-P foaming wall cleaner. Now someone else recommended a more like natural wall cleaner and um, I am going to purchase that and I want to like put the two to test. I want to test out the Zep versus the more natural one. Um, the Zep one I do think does a good job, but it has a very strong pow overpowering like chemically smell to it. So I'm definitely open to trying new wall cleaners. So I thought um, I'll order it maybe here in the next week or two and then I can try them out and then test them for you guys.
if you like seeing clips of the girls stick around they are gonna pop in a little bit at the end of this video because here on day three i'm gonna be folding some laundry mike and i are actually gonna be folding laundry it was like after dinner right before it was time to go get ready for bed bath and bed the girls are kind of hanging around and they actually sort of cleaned up their toys but you'll get to see them later if you want to say hi I got my same leggings on. I don't know if you're like me. So this is a different day. They have been washed. But sometimes like I'll like wear a, a shirt or a pair of pants. And I'm like, oh, I love these. And then I wear them a lot. And then like I take a break for them. It's almost like, or, <laughs> or I would say, I would say it's similar to like a food. Like, you know, when you have a food, I am the type of person who can eat the same food over and over and over. But what I'll do is I'll get in these like ruts of eating the same like lunches every single day. And then all of a sudden I get tired of it. And then I stop eating that for a while. And then I move on to something else. I kind of feel the same way with, like, with some of my clothes. Um, I'm like, oh, I forgot how much I love these. Um, and I'll wear them a lot. And then I stop for a while. So anyways, <laughs> it is later in the afternoon. Twins are napping. I'd actually planned to get more stuff done today, but they did not fall asleep right away. I had to go in there. They were being crazy two-year-olds, um, being mischievous in their cribs. So um, there are other things that I had to get done. So I did not get as much as I needed to get done today. Um, so what I'm doing today is I'm not overwhelming myself. I'm just focusing on the bedroom. All I wanna do is make the bed, and then vacuum in here, do the bare minimum, because that's all I have time for today, and that is okay, so. I just think it's really important to share those days where I don't get much stuff done because of course you guys are seeing me get so much done in a video. You're not seeing the days where I don't do anything or I don't have the energy and I just want to make for sure I talk about that because if you don't talk about it, it just looks like every single day I'm getting 10 million things done in my day and that is not reality, not reality at all. So I promise you um, that every day I'm knocking it out of the park, not every day I'm productive or have the energy so just a reminder all right there it is every day does not have to be a cleaning marathon every day you do not have to do 10 million things to feel good sometimes all you do is make your bed and vacuum one room and that's it all right, so we are rounding up our week of cleaning. Clean. What do we have to do? What? Say fold laundry. Fold laundry. Are you gonna help mommy? Yeah. You are? Thank you. So we're gonna fold laundry. It's almost time and bedtime. <laughs> and so Mike and I are gonna fold some laundry. laundry. We just ate dinner. What'd you eat? Um, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. And what else? Apple sauce. Apple sauce and salad. Hiya. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna fold some laundry, be done for the week, have all the laundry done, right? Yeah. Say, let's do this. Let's do this. Say, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Say, 
it was honestly really cute here because the girls well the twins i always say the girls the twins were sitting they have like kindle fires they were watching as we were like winding down for the night and then we told them when mike and i were folding laundry okay girls time to pick up your toys and usually they're excited because i think they're at that age where it's like fun to help mom still um, but they did not want to get up and so we said okay let's play the cleanup song and as soon as we played the cleanup song they ran over there to start cleaning up which i thought was really really cute so something as simple as a song got them up and moving which i'm like well duh jamie it does the same for you you put on those 90s pop tunes and it gets you motivated send off thank you so much for being here sticking around to the end we're gonna, you say, say, what good night. you're gonna go night night yeah. say good night she has a mini mouse skirt on huh say bye guys bye guys